Hey designers, today you're going to be happy to know that you do not have to take notes over today's video lecture and there will not be a quiz associated with this. I've already done that to you. I'm not going to do it again. This video is just to explain the project to you. So you should have watched one video on the intro to type and the six families and then you should have completed two illustrator videos on uh, lesson number two which is selecting and more advanced options with illustrator and then an intro to the type tool now you're watching this one before you go on to the next two illustrator lessons which is on uh, the advanced type tool and then creating that background texture layer and I want you to watch this first so as you go into those illustrator video lessons you kind of have an understanding of why you're learning those things and what you're going to be doing with them it just is going to help you uh, move through this unit a little bit more seamlessly you're going to understand what's going on okay so like before I've embedded a little video here if you want to geek out it's just a series of quotes that I found kind of inspiring so if you need a little pick-me-up today you might want to watch that video but what we're doing here since we're all about type is we're gonna stick with type itself and we're gonna stick with words and you're gonna create a piece of graphic design just a simple poster we're just gonna start simple a poster design where the sole focus here is gonna be on your understanding of fonts font pairings and the type tool all right so your objective is you are going to be using two or more fonts okay i'm going to suggest two three at max because you need to make sure that they are contrasting so you're picking different fonts that have a good contrasting font relationship and the more fonts you use the harder it is to make sure that they're all contrasting right okay so two to three max different fonts that are from two different families i.e. contrasting and then you also are going to be showing me that you are starting to understand the type tool in illustrator and some of the advanced options with the type tool you must apply some of the advanced techniques that you're going to be learning in that advanced type tool lesson so it's going to teach you about doing clipping masks with the type it's going to teach you about doing type warps and typing on path so make sure you pay close attention because you're going to want to use some of those techniques in your quote poster here's what i'm going to be looking for in the poster as again review i'm looking at your ability to create contrasting font relationships we're starting to get into graphic design more so I'm gonna look that you're starting to show me you have a basic understanding of those four most basic principles those four super important contrast repetition alignment and proximity you're starting to show me you're you're learning a little bit in illustrator so you understand the type tool um, and like I said those advanced options I'm gonna look for such as Okay, you don't have to use all of these but such as creating outlines typing on a path the style effect all of which are going to be in that advanced type tool video lesson you're going to show me that you can follow directions by using only two to three different fonts and you're going to show me a little bit of creativity helping me understand because remember graphic design is all about communication are you communicating the mood of what your quote is about so i'm just going to show you some examples here this design's focus should be on the text so yes you might have some shapes you might have some design you might have some texture in here you might even have a few small illustrations like this one does here with the flowers but the sole focus should be on that text the text should be the biggest the largest the boldest thing in your image and you're showing me that it's all about the text you're arranging the text in interesting ways you're showing me that you understand the fonts the relationships all of that good stuff notice it's not going to be heavy in illustrator that's why we're starting with this one because i know you don't know a lot about illustrator but you do know about the type tool so the focus should be on how to make the type design look interesting as a poster in and on itself what i don't want you to do is number one you cannot steal large pieces of imagery from the internet so in other words like see these clouds here in the sun you can't just pull that from the internet and paste that in there copy and paste instead if you want to do something like this like the clouds in the sun you're going to have to use the custom, you're going to have to use the tools in illustrator and i know some of you guys don't know how to do that yet so you don't have to do that keep it simple do just basic words like if you were good and you are starting to understand design and you're gonna you're being creative you can create a visually interesting quote poster just with the text alone you don't need the other things if you want to put the other things in there 
then you're going to have to do it from scratch in Illustrator. So like if you want to do a picture of a person, well, honestly, all you really know right now is the image trace option. So hey, if you want to use the image trace in here, you can. Just be careful because then you're going to have a hard time working with your contrast, repetition, alignment, and proximity. The more complex you make it, the more difficult this is going to be in the early stages because you just haven't learned a lot with graphic design. You can do that, but keep it simple. Okay, Simple is better with this one, guys. Again, focus should be on the words, but you can do fun things like if you want to do just a little bit of a drop shadow, or you're like, well, you know what, I like the text, but what if I just put it on top of a rectangle? A lot of good repetition in that one, good contrast in that one. You want to do some textures, you can do some textures. If you want to use some interesting fonts, you can do that. There's going to be an alternate um, lesson that I'm going to paste in there for you guys on how to load new fonts. Watch that. If you're not finding the fonts in Illustrator that you like, there is a way to import some new ones as well. So your first step after what you're done watching this video is find your quote. Now you can come up with your own quote, but in my experience in the past, most students just go on the internet and to get an, an interesting idea or for a quote. Um, if you know who said the quote, you need to attribute it to them. So you can see here, um, this is who said that quote. So again, if you know who said the quote, please put it in there. If it truly is a quote from a person, I would always recommend putting quotation marks. That's always a nice little touch, but take some time, go ahead and find your quote. That's step number one when you're done with this video. Step number two is if you want to um, look at finding some alternate decorative fonts, I will be pasting in the Google Classroom this optional tutorial on finding different fonts and loading them into your computer. And then you're gonna start creating your document. To start your document, you will need to create a, a image from scratch. So you're not gonna be opening up like you do in the Illustrator documents all the time. Um, there is a template that will be blank. This is where you go to get it. So it'll be courses folder, art, print shop, and templates. It's in there, you're looking for the file that says quote poster because it set up the correct dimensions. So when I print this out for you, it's going to make it easier for me because they're all going to be a standard size. Okay. And again, think about contrast with your type. So all of these are examples. These are in here for you to look back at. Some of these are student examples. Some of them are not. All of these are fine examples of what I'm looking for. So steal some ideas. You're a student designer. So if you're like, oh, I kind of like how they did the arrow here, go for it. You can practice in Illustrator. You can um, experiment. Maybe you want to try some of the papers, tools, or whatever. Even though we haven't gotten to those yet, you're more than welcome to try those things. Take some ideas you, you see here and make them your own. All right, so what's step number one? Right, go to the internet, find your quote that you're gonna use, and then keep working through those Illustrator lessons you should be picking up with the advanced type tool and the texture background layer video. Good job, designers.